Well, hello and welcome to another Simply Greg Sear EV review. This will be a quick review today. We have ourselves a Tesla Model 3 Highland, the updated Model 3. This is a dual motor, long range variant. We're actually on a test drive right now from the Tesla dealer. Say I have about 15, 20 minutes, so we'll have to make this quick. So far, first impressions, absolutely fantastic on it. It is such a, a refinement on the old car where you can't even compare the two. So let's get into it very quickly and we'll give you a quick overview of the new Model 3 Highland. So as you can see from the start, the design is completely different up front, new headlights, new front fascia. This car is actually a bit longer and much more efficient. I think around 12 or 13% more efficient than the outgoing model. This one's finished in white with the white interior. Absolutely lovely. No stocks whatsoever on the steering column. The flashers on the steering wheel took a bit of time to get used to, but nothing crazy. And also to put it in drive and park and reverse, you swipe up on the screen. No, this is a very lovely spec of car, actually. I quite like the um, white interior with this red line as well. That looks quite good. Again, in the back, we have the double glazed glass in back. New seats. You have the screen back here as well. If you have kids or passengers in the back, they could take care of everything from there. As we come along to the rear of the car, new tail lights. I love the Tesla badge hanging on the uh, trunk lid. Same dual motor badge. Very nice valence at the bottom. These wheels are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is a very nice looking car. Very, very, very nice. They've done a really good job with uh, this one. Let's go inside and check out some of the uh, features. So here we are inside the new Model 3. Again, as we covered, no stocks on the steering column whatsoever. Your flashers have moved to the steering wheel. And also, as I mentioned earlier, to put it in drive, you just swipe up to drive, rear for reverse. I like that, that's awesome, that's really cool. I enjoy that. You know, pretty much standard Model 3 in here. Uh, so far, so good with everything. I like everything, everything feels a lot more quality. It feels a lot, the fit and finish on it, it's a lot nicer than the uh, outgoing model. So the driving impressions of this car, like I said, I've been on a test drive for about 10 minutes with it. It's completely night and day difference. Uh, it's a lot quieter, the uh, cabin, the suspension, they really smoothed out the suspension. It's not as choppy as it, uh, as it used to be. The acceleration is still there, the power is there, but mostly um, the efficiency is watching other reviews of this car. The efficiency is what really impressed me. They didn't really change all that much in terms of the mechanical bits of the car. They just made it, they just streamlined everything. They just made everything just slightly a bit better than what it was before. And they managed to crank out, as I said, about 12%, 13% more efficiency. No, this car is absolutely fantastic. It's even better than the outgoing car. And that was already a good car. It's... I believe they listen to their customers. They listen to that customer, that crucial customer feedback, which is so important with um, car manufacturing. You have to listen to your customer feedback. They listened. They delivered an, so far an excellent product in my short amount of time with it. And I can't wait to spend more time in the new Model 3. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. I know this was a quick review. If you like what you see, click like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah. Again, thanks for watching. This is an absolutely fantastic car. I wish we had more time with it, but hopefully we will in the future.